the visit to Japan was hailed by the leader of the UK's carrier strike group, Commodore Stephen Murhouse, as the cornerstone of her epic odyssey to the Orient.And in a display of military might and increased cooperation between the UK and Japan. Portsmouth-based Queen Elizabeth led a three-day military drill at sea. The British flagship was joined by Type 45 destroyer HMS Defender, Royal Fleet Auxiliary Tanker RFA Type Spring, and Dutch frigate HNLMS Evertsen for the training with Canadian ship HMCS Winnipeg and Japanese ships JS Ice and JS Izumo. There is much that links the United Kingdom and Japan, and we're happy to answer your questions put to us by Japanese schoolchildren. There is much to learn about the food, technology, and life of the sailors on board this Royal Navy aircraft carrier. Exercise Pacific Crown saw F-35B stealth fighters embarked on Queen Elizabeth perform a flypast with the Japanese F-35A variant of the jets, while the ships conducted close maneuvering training. Doc Dreamer House said, Our visit to Japan is seen as a cornerstone of this deployment and a demonstration of the UK commitment to investing in our partnership with Japan. So the aircraft we're flying in Queen Elizabeth, as you'll see behind me, is called the F-35. It's also codenamed the Lightning, which is capable of a very short takeoff and vertical landing. We have 18 of them on board with us just now. So it's very exciting to take off in the F-35. We do a very short takeoff. We line up around about 350 feet from the end of the carrier, and then we're propelled from zero up to around about 80 miles an hour in a short distance before we go up the ski ramp and propelled into the air. So the fuel that F-35 uses is very similar to that used by airliners, which you'll travel in when you go on holiday, and indeed not too different from that what you'll use uh, in your cars to travel around on the ground. The F-35 is very fuel efficient, and it means we get the maximum distance combat radius for the amount of fuel that we carry. UK and Japanese vessels are working together in Exercise Pacific Crown, demonstrating our shared resolve, deepening our cooperation and enhancing the interoperability between our armed forces. These joint exercises help us to develop our tactics and procedures to allow us to pursue increasingly complex and integrated cooperation. He added, UK and Japan have a shared recognition of the importance of an open and free Indo-Pacific, which is why I am delighted to be here, bringing our cutting-edge capabilities to work alongside those of our Japanese partners to uphold peace and security in the region. HMS Queen Elizabeth's visit to Yokosuka marked the first time a non-US aircraft carrier has visited the base since 1992. Welcome to HMS Queen Elizabeth Studio Club. Welcome to our dojo. We're a growing club with uh, 20 members, but we're hoping to grow um, and recruit a few more as we get closer to Japan.
While there, the ships hosted British Ambassador to Japan Julia Longbottom, along with the fleet commander of U.S. 7th Fleet, Vice Admiral Carl Thomas, who visited members of the U.S. Marine Corps, embarked on board. The next three days saw the ship host Japanese Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi, who came on board with senior military figures from the Japan Self-Defense Force.